Yo, what's poppin' loyalists? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to double clutch with Dom ZNT, aka Glitch Guru. Alright, so in order to do this, we do need to have a vehicle that has back wheel drive. Alright, so this is the method that we'll be using that only works with cars that have rear wheel drive. Alright, so I'll be using this Hellfire, this Hell Keezy right here. You guys may recognize this car, but all we're going to do here is slam the gas all the way down right before the car gets into third gear. So we're going to slam the gas all the way down. We're going to get to second gear right before the car gets into third gear. We're going to let go of the gas, hit the handbrake for a split second, let go of the handbrake, and then hit the gas full throttle once again. Also, I do think I did a perfect start back there. I don't know what you guys think. Maybe. All right. So we might be able to do a perfect start as well and implement a perfect start into double clutching. But um, we'll get more into that later on in a different video. But um, it's very simple, guys. So in order to double clutch, we're just going to hold the gas all the way down, slam it all the way down. We're going to let the car shift into second gear. And right before the vehicle shifts into third gear, we're going to let go of the gas completely, hit the handbrake for a split second, let go of it, and then slam the gas back down for a throttle. So I'm still pretty new to double clutching and speed glitches, but I'm mastering this thing pretty fast, guys, I would say. So I'm hitting it almost every time. So I'm going to do it right here. I'm going to just hit the gas all the way down. Once the car shifts into second, I'm going to wait for that moment right before it shifts into third. Let go of the gas. Hit the handbrake for a split second. Let go and then slam the gas back down. Pretty much all in one motion. And that's going to give us this crazy amount of speed. And we're just going to take off and the car is just going to go flying pretty much like a jet. I doubt there's anybody else out there who has the same vehicle that could beat us. My friend does have a Hellcat, so I will try to get some footage of us racing a little bit later on. Just in order to further demonstrate how crazy this is. And you will see me smoke him later on for sure. So we'll just keep doing it right now. We'll just keep practicing it. You guys definitely want to just practice this because it will take you a couple of tries. You might not always hit it. But when you do hit this 100%, you guys will notice that the car will do a bit of a tail spin and the tires will spin out, leaving some more skid marks on the ground like a second set. So when we first take off, you guys will see that there is a first set of skid marks on the ground. And then right after coming up off of the handbrake before going into third gear and then slamming back down on the gas, you should notice that the car does a bit of a tail spin, leaving a second set of skid marks on the ground and the car just takes off flying. So... That's pretty much all there is to it. It's very simple, but it can be a little bit complicated. So we'll try to do it right here once more, and I'll try to explain it a little bit better. So all I'm doing right here is I'm going to hit the gas all the way down. The car is going to shift into second. Boom. I'm going to let go of it before it shifts into third. Quickly press and hold the handbrake for about half a second, and then let go of it, and then just hit the gas full throttle. And as you guys can see, the car will take off, and you guys will do the double clutch glitch. And you guys will be gone, all right? Leaving your opponents in the dust, smoking whoever goes up against you. So basically what we're doing here is stalling the engine while in motion, revving the RPMs up really, really high. And then when it catches again, the car just takes off, catching all of that speed from the RPMs being revved up very, very high and just taking off and giving us that speed boost that you guys see right there. And we're gone. So simple as that. I'm also going to show you guys an example of us driving down this street without the double clutch so you guys can see just how fast we are driving up and down this block with and without the double clutch all right so all right so this is us now driving down this same street without double clutching as you guys can see the car is moving pretty fast but it's not moving as fast as when we were double clutching because we're still going down this street and before we were flying we were pretty much already through this entire street already by that time so it's a big difference between double clutching and not double clutching, guys. So keep that in mind. And you want to look for that tail spin. And you want to look for the tires to do a spin out and see the skid marks on the ground. That's how you know you hit it perfectly. So let's just do it right here one more time. And hope you guys enjoy the rest of these clips.